So my aunt called me this morning to share a dream with me that she had. And it was on her mind, so she was like, man, I got to call him and talk to him about this dream. And after talking to me about it, and she was sharing some of the details of the dream, I was lining it up with the reality of uh, what I was doing, what we was doing before then, and how this could be very possible. And you know how dreams will be, you know, sometimes it'll say or, or put you uh, doing some crazy stuff. You're like, I don't know how I was doing this, but this is where I was at and this is who I seen, but I couldn't see this person's face, but this person had a couple kids. And, um, and now, you know, I'm at that age now where I, I really pay attention, pay attention to that because um, we in a day and age where um, if someone comes to you with a vision, you know, I believe God gave it to them. And if they say, hey, I want you to be safe, this this, this here came up. Um, I think, you know, that's a blessing just to have someone who is willing to be naked and ashamed with their feelings and to let you know that, hey, I had this vision. I don't know how you should take it, but I think, you know, you know, it's, it's warning you for something, you know. Um, uh, don't go swimming today. You know, today don't, you know, just, just chill around, do something else, you know. And you wonder, like, okay, and you think about the fact that, you know, you might be the person that likes to go all the time. And this one day to say, hey, nah, don't go today. You know, so it's, it's, uh, it's ironic how things happen, man, but I think you always have to count your blessings. Hold on.